Supporters of President-elect Donald Trump took to the side of the road outside Mar-a-Lago Wednesday, a day after his election win, holding flags high and looking forward to his second term in office. I knew it. Just look at the rallies. All you had to do was look at the rallies. You know, the rallies were just huge and everywhere you went they were sold out and there was thousands outside too. You know, look at Harris. Look at some of hers. Might have had one that had a few people, said Dave Corey, as he held a flag and waved at honking drivers. Trump won over frustrated voters with bold promises that his fiery brand of America first economic populism and conservative culture would make their lives better. Well, of course, the border. Got to close the border. Get, stop these people from crossing. Uh, second thing, they've got to drill, baby, drill. You gotta get that liquid gold out of ground so we can get those gas prices back down to a buck eighty a gallon. I knew it. Just look at the rally. All you had to do was look at the rallies. You know, the rallies were just huge, and everywhere he went, they were sold out, and there was thousands outside too. You know, look at Harris. Look at some of hers. It might have had one that had a, a few people. <laughs> Donald Trump was elected the 47th President of the United States on Wednesday, an extraordinary comeback for a former president who refused to accept defeat four years ago, sparked a violent insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, was convicted of felony charges and survived two assassination attempts. With a win in Wisconsin, Trump cleared the 270 electoral votes needed to clinch the presidency. The victory validates his bare-knuckle approach to politics. He attacked his Democratic rival, Kamala Harris, in deeply personal, often misogynistic and racist, terms as he pushed an apocalyptic picture of a country overrun by violent migrants. The coarse rhetoric, paired with an image of hypermasculinity, resonated with angry voters, particularly men, in a deeply polarized nation. As president, he's vowed to pursue an agenda centered on dramatically reshaping the federal government and retribution against his perceived enemies. Some Moscow residents reacted to news of Donald Trump's election win on Wednesday. Trump was elected the 47th president of the United States on Wednesday, an extraordinary comeback for a former president who refused to accept defeat four years ago, sparked a violent insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, was convicted of felony charges and survived two assassination attempts. With a win in Wisconsin, Trump cleared the 270 electoral votes needed to clinch the presidency. One Muscovite reacted with restraint to the election result saying that the new president would hardly mean a change in U.S. policy towards Russia. For Russia, 
It seems to me, this is neither good nor bad, but we are optimists, we hope that he is holding the vector towards stopping the bloodshed, said Maria Koroshilova. Trump, who has touted his good relationship with Russian President Vladimir Putin and called the Russian leader, pretty smart, for invading Ukraine, has repeatedly criticized American backing of Ukraine. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov noted Trump's campaign statements about his intention to end wars, saying that, those were important statements, but now after the victory, while getting ready to enter the Oval Office or entering the Oval Office, statements could sometimes change. We will thoroughly analyze everything, watch everything and will make conclusions based on concrete words and concrete steps, Peskov said. I don't think it's entirely straightforward to expect that Trump will deliver Ukraine to Russia the way that some people might expect, Sam Green, director of Democratic Resilience at the Center for European Policy Analysis, said in an interview to AP on Wednesday. Green said that surrendering Ukraine to Russia might mean loss of political capital for Trump. Итак, 47-м президентом США станет Дональд Трамп. Несмотря на то, что подсчет бюллетеней еще окончательно не завершен, необходимую отметку в 270 голосов выборщиков он уже преодолел. Победу на выборах Трампу принес штат Висконсин, где Камала Харрис лишилась всяческих шансов. Были заявления, которые, в которых речь шла о его мирных устремлениях на международной арене, о его устремлениях на то, чтобы прервать вот эту вот спираль и тотальную политику нацеленную на продолжение старых войн и развязывание новых войн. Да, это заявление достаточно важное, но теперь уже после победы, собственно, готовясь войти в овальный кабинет или войдя в овальный кабинет, вот иногда заявление приобретает другой тон, и поэтому мы говорим что мы тщательно все анализируем, наблюдаем за всем и будем делать выводы по конкретным словам и конкретным шагам. Russian television has been for a very long time talking about uh... Trump as a repudiation and, and, and the selection as the opportunity for repudiation of Biden and everything that he stands for, particularly support for uh, for Ukraine. Um, we'll see how long that lasts because I don't think it's entirely straightforward to expect that uh, that Trump will deliver Ukraine to Russia the way that some people might uh, might expect. He likes to engage in deals, but he needs to get something out of that deal. Uh, and it's not clear to me what Putin can put on the table that would make a, a resolution of, 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 of the conflict in Ukraine palatable to both of those men uh, in their own political context. And it's not clear to me that Trump would be willing to take the loss of political capital uh, in, in Washington and on Capitol Hill that would come from uh, essentially surrendering Ukraine to to the Russians. Uh. Настолько серьезный аппарат власти, который его просто может ну, диктовать условия ему в том числе. Мне так кажется. Поэтому навряд ли что-то серьезное изменится. Для России, мне кажется, это... Неплохо, нехорошо, но мы, мы оптимисты, надеемся на то, что он в общем, поддержит вектор в сторону э, прекращения э, кровопролития. Это ему тоже неинтересно, потому что он э, видит, что мир катится в бездну. Да без разницы. Они все говорят одно, делают другое. Поэтому время покажет. Что там, чего, кто был прав, кто не прав. Ну, выбрали, выбрали. Нормальный выбор, их страна.